This is a technology disruption, or actually, this is several technology disruptions. If anything, it's going to happen faster than I think. There's no breakthroughs needed. There's no leap of faith. The clean disruption of energy and transportation will happen. It's inevitable. By 2030, essentially all energy is going to be solar. By 2030, all cars are going to be electric and are going to be autonomous or semi-autonomous. Think about electric vehicles as essentially computer tablets on wheels. Electric vehicles are now on Moore's Law. They are computers on wheels, which means they are improving at a very, very fast rate, uh, a rate at which conventional uh, gasoline cars could never compete. Today, we have cars that are essentially parked 96% of the time. When we have self-driving cars, essentially they're going to be driving 90% of the time. The number of cars on the road is going to shrink by about 80 to 90% because they're going to be driving 90% of the time instead of being parked 90% of the time. More money, more investment, more R&D is going into the improvement of batteries, which if anything, will make the clean disruption happen even faster than, than even I anticipate. On a unit of energy basis, solar has improved versus oil by more than 5,000 times in cost since 1970, uh, relative to natural gas by more than 2,300 times, by 1,500 times relative to nuclear. Solar will go down another two-thirds in cost from here to 2020, which means that by 2020, solar will have improved its unit cost relative to oil by 16,000 times, 16,000 times. Solar will have improved by 2020 its unit costs relative to natural gas by more than 6,700 times relative to nuclear by 4,500 times by 2020. So this is a disruptive technology at work. There is no way that, uh, that any of these other sources of energy can compete with solar, not in the short term, not in the long term. In 2014, solar in Australia is 40% cheaper than the retail price of electricity. In Germany, a country that is not very sunny, a lot of days in the summer, 50% of the country's uh, electricity comes from solar. In Denmark, they have had days where 100% of the country's energy comes from wind. already happening, not just in Australia, but in hundreds of markets around the world. Resistance is futile. Solar will be the world's largest source of energy within the next 10 to 15 years.